Love is our purpose here today. It is the essence of who we are. With love as their foundation, marriage offers Amanda and Devin the opportunity to become their essence with one another. With you, I feel complete. With you, I feel at home. I promise to love and encourage you because as Team Thomas, we can accomplish anything. I vow to be your partner for life, to be your best friend and confidant, your listening ear, and while well, mostly just a lot of being your listening ear. You never sweat the small stuff because in your words, it's not that serious. You help me to keep perspective on the important things in life. I promise to love you, to cherish you, and to laugh with you. I promise to have the patience that love demands, to speak when words are needed, and to share in the silence when they are not. I adore your authenticity. You are unapologetically yourself, and you have taught me to do the same. I will always cherish exactly who you are as my sidekick and best friend. I promise to encourage you to follow your dreams, to support you in all of your endeavors, and to do the dishes, even though I cooked and it was your turn to do it. <laughs> your smile gives me butterflies. To see you happy is the greatest feeling, and to hear you laugh is the best sound in the whole world. I promise to always fill our lives with happiness and laughter, and continue to crack my punny jokes for as long as we both shall live. And I pinky promise to comfort you when the Bengals lose, and drink beer with you when they win. I promise to be the balance in your life, to try the things you want even when I don't, and to push you out of your comfort zone as much as you push me out of mine. I vow that wherever this journey in life takes us, that I will be there by your side, through sickness and through health, from Columbus to Indianapolis, and everywhere in between. Today marks the beginning of the most beautiful God-given contract we could ever agree to. I will never quite be able to express to you what sharing our life means to me, so I promise to spend an eternity trying to show you. I will celebrate your triumphs and love you all the more for your failures. Together, we will face all of life's experiences and share one another's hopes and dreams. With a great marriage comes great responsibility. I vow to be your silent guardian, your watchful protector, your dark night. I look forward to growing old with you by my side. So here we go, head first, no regrets and no rules. Devin Kenneth Claude, you are my forever and always. Love you, babe. You know it. Can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. And now, by the power vested in me by the state of Ohio, I pronounce you husband and wife. Devin, you may now kiss your girl. Now everyone, please rise as I introduce you to Mr. and Mrs. Devin and Amanda Thomas. I am so happy for you today. You have overcome so much in the past couple of years and come out on top and better than the majority of people. You are a fighter, you never quit, and I am so honored to have you in my life. I know there are two people who aren't here tonight, but I know they wish you both a lifetime of happiness and love. One piece of advice is from someone I know who is in here tonight, and they get really mad at me if I did not tell you, is always add a little levity. Our friends and I always told Devin that he would be the most success successful out of all of us, and um, I think the most important thing to me is you know, finding love and happiness. And to me, that's the most successful thing that you can do. And I'm glad that you found that and you kind of made it all true that you did, um, you know, complete the most successful out of all of us so far in life. Devin, Amanda, and Stella, I wish nothing but happiness for you guys to start your new, new adventure together. And I love you guys, Devin, Amanda, and Stella.
Angeles right now because today is going to be absolutely perfect and the rest of our lives are going to be absolutely perfect.